So here's an example where they're asking us to uh, find the transfer function v2 over vs. So here is v2 and here is vs. So we're trying to find the ratio between those two. So it would be kind of like if you had output terminals here, you know, what would be the output uh, voltage given that voltage supply. So we're going to do this using uh, nodal analysis. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this and see how this works. So we see we have one node here, which we'll call node one. And we have another node here, which is actually uh, V2, or uh, the output voltage that we just mentioned right here. So we'll call this uh, node 2. And so now what we want to do is sum the currents going in and out of each of those nodes. So let's start with node 1. And when we... Uh, look at that, we see that uh, the first leg of this, which is this leg here, uh, we're going to define that then as uh, V1 minus Vs, so that's the difference in the voltages on each side of the resistor, and that's divided by uh, 1K, or 1K ohm. Again, we're, we're defining current leaving the node as positive. Okay, so then the next one we want to look at, uh, we'll take this guy here. And that one's pretty simple. That's just going to be uh, V1 over 1K. In that case. And then finally, uh, we're going to look at this leg here, I'm just doing the color, this resistor here. And when we look at that, it's gonna be the differences in the voltages. So that'll be um, plus V1 minus V2 over 1K. And so that accounts for all of the paths in and out of that node. And so we should be able to equal set those equal to zero. So there's our first nodal equation. So now we want to move over to node two, which we designated as blue. And so first one we're going to look at, we've already defined, is that purple, which is the 1K. And so when we do that, this time it's going to be V2 minus V1 over 1K. And then next, um, we want to look at this leg here in the red. When we do, that's just going to be V2. Again, this is all from Ohm's Law over 1K. That's your current. And then finally, we have a current source here that's a dependent current source. And it's shown leaving the node. So we can just write that straight out. That's going to be plus GM V1. And again, we should be able to set all of those equal to zero. So now we have our two equations there. Now we should be able to simplify these a bit. So let's do that. So if we uh, simplify this one here, gather up like terms and multiply through by 1K and such, we should get 3V1 minus V2 is equal to Vs. And then the same thing here, we can simplify this guy, multiply through uh, about various terms. And we need to note here, I guess I should have noted, we do have GM defined uh, as 1 half times 10 to the minus 3. So, that, uh, uh, so that's our, our, our multiplier for this current source here. So as we simplify and take that into account, what we end up with then is nine, minus 1 half V1 
plus 2v2 is equal to 0. And again, we took this value here and plugged it in for the GM uh, to help us get to that point. So now we have uh, two expressions in terms of v1, v2, and vs. So now we should be able to uh, use matrices analysis uh, to solve for this. And so when we do, uh, we can define v2 then. <coughs> we could rewrite this as, as a matrix, right? We could say 3 minus 1 half minus 1 and 2. That's going to be times... Uh, be times v1 v2 and that's going to be equal to vs and 0. So using that uh, we can solve for v1 by exchanging uh, the columns on the top so that's going to be uh, 3 minus 1 half vs and 0. I'm going to take the determinant of that, and that's going to be divided by 3 minus 1 half minus 1 and 2. Take the determinant of that, and when we calculate that out, you do your cross multiplying, uh, you should get uh, 1 half Vs. And again, here, cross multiplying, we should get 6. Uh, minus one half, and so that ends up being Vs over 11. So this means that V2 is equal to Vs over 11, but we were asked to find V2 over Vs, the transfer function. So we can do that pretty easily then by just dividing both sides by Vs. So now uh, this becomes v2 over vs is equal to 1 over 11. So this is the transfer function for this circuit. So what that basically means is the way this is set up, whatever power supply we put in for vs, the output across these terminals is going to be 1 11th of whatever this value is.